Girl, I can't lie. Sometimes it's hard to find the perfect outfit. Trust me, I know the feeling. But since discovering my new sense of style over the past couple months, I've picked out some tactics and tricks to make the process a whole lot easier. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, as I show you how to put together the perfect outfit. Let's talk about basics versus essential pieces. I touched on this topic in another video of mine, but I'm happy to elaborate again. Basics are the clothing pieces that everybody should have in their closet. This can be a white crop top, a black crop top, mom jeans, skinny jeans, straight leg denim jeans, a leather jacket, a tiny black dress, boots, white sneakers, literally the basics. These are all the core elements of an outfit because oftentimes you're gonna be using your basics to literally build your outfits. So when you're first starting off with your style journey, I recommend that like 75% of your wardrobe should be like basic pieces and the other 25% should be essential pieces. And the more and more you get into fashion and your aesthetic and your style, the percentage of essential pieces will actually go up as the percentage of basic pieces will go down. I would say for me, I'm at like 50-50. 50% of my stuff in my closet are basics, then the other 50% are essentials. And also, basics are timeless, so they are never going out of style. So it's really important that you get good quality, long-lasting basics. I like thrifting some, and only some of my basics. Here's a list of things that I would and wouldn't thrift. Ah, uh, the thrift store, the perfect place to find so many hidden gems. So the first basic that I would definitely buy at a thrift store would be jeans. Jeans are made of a really durable material. That's why you don't really have to wash jeans every single time you wear them. And because the material is so durable, they age really nicely. That's why you see so many jeans still in really good condition at the thrift store. Also, something else you can get from the thrift store, jackets for the same reason as jeans, because they're extremely durable like I just said but also they have so many cute and amazing styles at the thrift store it's so underrated like guys look at this it's so cute so I would definitely recommend getting some jackets and like coats from the thrift store I promise you won't be disappointed and lastly boots I found these cowboy boots at a thrift store and I thought they looked really really nice not really my style but I can appreciate them if it's definitely yours I would recommend but something you shouldn't get, flimsy t-shirts. Like, no. So a big mistake that I made while I was gathering up all my basics was that I got them in all the neutral colors. Got them in black, white, tan, gray, all those colors. And then I thought I was done, but I actually was not. Depending on your aesthetic, you're probably gonna need basics in like every color. I'm talking green jeans, red jeans, pink top. Especially for my aesthetic, like I need basics in like every color of the rainbow. Because one thing that I really, really love is I love making a monochromatic outfits and I would like to do that in every color. But I know having basics in literally every color ever is very, very pricey. So I would start with like your favorite colors and then work from there. Obviously this is a process you can take as long as you want. So there's no rush to get like everything all at once. Now that we know what basics are, we can talk about what essentials are. Essentials are clothing pieces that fit your personal style. These clothing articles usually have unique silhouettes, various cuts, and cool patterns that fit your personal style. When gathering essentials, given that you already have an idea of what aesthetic you're going for, I would suggest you start off getting essential accessories like shoes, belts, hats, and bags. Starting off with acquiring essential accessories instead of essential clothing pieces is a lot safer, cheaper, and a more experimental option when stepping into your new style because it's less of a commitment. If you end up not liking the accessories, it's not a big deal because they're literally just accessories. Once you get comfortable with accessories, then you can move on into getting actual essential clothing pieces. Sometimes I feel like today especially being like a fashion influencer there's this 
stigma around re-wearing clothes as if washing machines and dryers don't exist. And like sometimes I feel like, you know, once I buy this outfit, once I take pictures in these clothes, like I'm done with it. I can't wear it again. I can't show it on my Instagram again. Mainly because I am a fashion influencer and I feel like everything should be new and fresh But also that cycle can become really wasteful I feel like the best thing about basics is that it's definitely something that you can wear more than once and not have any shame in Honestly, there shouldn't be a shame in rewearing clothes, but I love to rewear my basics I style them all sorts of ways and it makes me feel really happy and that's why 50% yes Half of my closet is filled with just that. Some days you can't be bothered to put on like this out of this world unique piece. Sometimes a crop top and some jeans do the trick. Finding your aesthetic. This is probably the hardest part because people aren't one dimensional. There are a lot of different sides to a lot of different people and they want their style to reflect that. But how do you implement all the different sides of you in your fashion without looking tacky or messy? I got you. In order to find your personal style, you need to stay away from trends, like as far as you can, because trends come and go so quickly, it can be so confusing to realize what you actually like or not. This is one of the reasons why it took me so long to find my personal style, because I just kept on hopping on trend after trend after trend, and I didn't really know what I liked. Even doing the whole trying different aesthetics video, it was fun, but it was also really expensive because I had to buy all the clothes, wear them for a day or two just to figure out that I don't actually like them and now I have to find a way to get rid of them. It was fun, but honestly, it was a really wasteful process that I don't need to go through again. You can definitely hop onto trends once you have an idea of what your style is, but when you're first starting out, stay the f away. After you acquire all your basics, don't buy anything for at least two months, maybe even three. This is gonna force you to be creative with the things that you already have in your wardrobe. With this, you're gonna learn how to be versatile with your outfits and make things work. Take pictures of all of your outfits and keep them in your camera roll as reference for future outfits. Also, by doing this, you're gonna to start to notice gaps in your wardrobe. You're gonna be like, oh, I wish I had this or I don't have this. And in those two to three months, write down all of the gaps that you have in your wardrobe. Also during this time, you should be on Pinterest, pinning things, organizing your boards. By doing this, you'll start to notice patterns in what you're pinning. Ask yourself, how often am I pinning people wearing crop tops, baggy jeans, baseball jackets? What colors are these people wearing? Are they wearing vibrant colors or are they wearing earth tones? And most importantly, where are these girls shopping? Now it's time to go shopping. By this step, you should have a list of things that you consider to be gaps in your wardrobe. You should have organized Pinterest boards and you should have an idea of what you're going for. So now you just get whatever you need. I like online shopping because it's easiest and I can stay in the comfort of my own home. But if you love in-person shopping, you can do that too. But just remember, just because you like a clothing item doesn't mean it's for you. I feel like a lot of times in fashion, a lot of people have this individuality complex. If you have an individuality complex, it means that you go out of your way to make sure that you're different from people. And that sense of uniqueness fuels your ego. I feel like a lot of times in fashion, we hear about the opposite of that. You know, people liking stuff just because it's a trend and then once the trend's over, they're not gonna like it anymore. But beware of the people who discover a clothing item first. They wear it, they like it, and then suddenly it becomes a trend and they no longer like it. Because that too is wasteful and it doesn't really help you in terms of finding your own personal style. Because a lot of the time when you think like that, you don't actually like the clothing piece. You just like that no one has it. I feel like these people with individuality complex, they just try so hard because they're afraid of being basic. I'm here to tell you, there's nothing wrong with being basic. There's nothing wrong with liking things that other people like. It doesn't make you basic, it makes you human. 
Now that you have the clothes, it's time to actually put the outfits together. The most fun and also most stressful part. So when putting together my outfits, my outfits are actually based off of the colors on the essential piece. And I always like to have everything be the same undertone. For example, these are cool toned forest green pants I got from the crypt. Let's pick out which top fits best. Okay, so if a regular person was watching this, they would think that these two tops are the same color, but one has a slightly cooler undertone than the other. Which one? Wrong. The right one has a cooler undertone, therefore the right one would look better with the forest green pants. Although I like the color of this one better than the other one, I actually like the style of that shirt better than this one. So if I could just have this color in that shirt, oh, perfect top. Okay, time to talk about the eight point plan. The eight point plan is a method that you could use to balance out your basics and your essentials. And also you can use this method to figure out whether you're wearing too much, doing too much, or if you're doing too little. All articles of clothing are gonna be either one point or two points. All dresses are two points. All accessories are one point. And all tops, bottoms, and shoes vary depending on how unique it is or how much of a statement it's giving. So these are two crop tops. Guess which one's one point and guess which one's two points. This one, this one's two points, this one's one point. This is literally a basic crop top made out of cotton, one point. But this is a multicolored crochet crop top because of how unique it is and how much of a statement it's giving, it's two points. These are two hoodies. Which one's one point and which one's two points? This one, this one's two points, this one's one point. This is a gray simple hoodie, but this is a knit multicolored oversized hoodie. So. It's gonna be two points. These are two jeans. Which one's one point? Which one's two points? This one's two points, this one's one point. These are literally basic straight look denim jeans. No design, no nothing, just basic jeans. But these jeans are different because they have writing on the crotch and they have these books on the bottom, which is very unique and gives up a statement. So this is gonna be two points. Last round, which one's one point? Which one's two points? This is two points, this is one point. This is a pretty simple black, knee-high boot, but these are brown textured boots, textured boots, and the heel's very sharp. So this is gonna be two points. And when you're deciding what's two points and what's one point, make sure it's between two of the same type of clothing article. Crop tops are against crop tops, jeans are against other jeans, sneakers are against other sneakers, just so that you have a better idea. And once you're done picking out your outfit, all of the clothing articles that you're wearing should add up to around eight points. If you're a minimalist, the goal to reach here is six to eight points. If you're a maximalist, the goal to reach here is eight to 10 points. I saw this method of styling on TikTok and literally ever since I've been using it for my outfits and I love it and I think it's great and you guys should use it too. It's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from me. I try to post every Sunday, but sometimes my life is a little hectic and I never make that deadline. I'm gonna be holding myself accountable because I really wanna be more active on YouTube like I used to be. I've been really active on Instagram though. You guys should just so follow me on Instagram because sometimes it's a little, a little bit more fun on Instagram than it is on YouTube. But I was a YouTuber first, will always be a YouTuber, so Every Sunday, it will be a party. Okay, I'm gonna go. See you guys later. Can we see your fits? Make sure you send them to me so I can see because you guys are really pretty and I want to see all your fits. Okay, bye guys.